Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lemon Ginger. Hope you're all doing great. So today's recipe is paneer roast. It's very basic ingredients that we have at home. We can go for this yummy recipe. So let's start. Place the pan on a medium flame. You can use a wok or a kadai to it. Add four tablespoon of vegetable oil. And once the oil starts getting heated up, put half a teaspoon of chili powder, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder and give a stir, stir for a couple of seconds. Make sure that it's not getting burnt. Then add the paneer cubes. We are taking 500 grams of paneer here, uh, cut into cubes and then just stir it well. Shallow fry it for two or three minutes until it gets golden brown on its edges. Do not fry it for more than that because it, we don't want it to get rubbery. So we are frying the paneer cubes into diff in different batches. So first batch is done, I'm moving it into another bowl. The next batch, is go, batch go, goes into the pan and the same process goes as we did before. So it's been fried another for another 2-3 minutes and moving into another pan or a bowl and keep this thing aside. To the pan add a little more oil into it if it's not much, that much and then add half a teaspoon of fennel seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds and a quarter teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, two dried chilies, red chilies and a twig of curry leaves. Stir it for a few seconds and then add three onions finely chopped. I have used a chopper here to get the fine chops and I put it there and I'm stirring it until it's until the onion turns translucent. And then to, to it I'm adding two teaspoons of ginger garlic paste. Again stirring it until the raw taste of the raw smell of the ginger garlic goes well. And then the stirring goes on. Into it, add one and a half teaspoons of coriander powder, two teaspoon of chili powder, quarter, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, and a quarter teaspoon of garam masala. Stir it well. Stir it for a couple of minutes, like two or three minutes, for the, the raw taste of that masala and the powders until it fades away. Stir it well. So now we need to add tomatoes. I am adding two finely chopped tomatoes. I have used two medium ones. Stir it well until the tomatoes are nicely mashed up into the onions. Add salt to taste and stir it well. Once the tomatoes are completely mashed up, once you feel that the tomatoes are cooked, add hot water. I'm adding one and a half cups of hot water into it and let the gravy boil very much. And as it boils, add cilantro. I'm adding a small handful of cilantro or coriander leaves into it and stir it. Nicely stir and to it I'm adding the fried paneer. Now stir well until it's completely mixed into the gravy. Now once the gravy is boiled, I am adding here lemon juice of half a lemon to have that lemony flavor to it. Again stirring. Now I am shredding a small piece of paneer to it just to have the shredded piece of paneer all around. It looks yummy. It will look uh, good and it will taste yummy as well. So this is optional, you don't have to do it. But this, it is nice. Yeah, so after shredding, I am stirring it again. And that's it. Yummy paneer roast is ready. It's very easy to make. So when you don't have time for the paneer butter masala and all, this is just as awesome as the other one.
the all other paneer recipes just try it out you can use it for chapati or white rice uh, for tiffins you can try this out for the easy dinner recipe you can count this as well again on top of it i'm shredding a small piece of paneer just for the beauty and that's it try this out and let me know how it went for you in the comment section below please don't forget to share and subscribe the channel lemon ginger and let's catch up with a new recipe in the coming episode until then bye